So check out this tree. I just love this tree. I love the flowers on it. It smells really good. I mean, this is just a cool tree. But, unfortunately, it is highly toxic to bees. This is a California buckeye, the only native buckeye species to California. And out here in this area, they grow wild pretty much everywhere. And this one just happened to be on my property. And it is literally several hundred feet away from my hive right over there which is no bueno and I don't know if these are my I'm assuming some of these are my bees but maybe somebody else's bees so basically I didn't know and what had happened see I just love being like our sidewalk here or just up in this can under this canopy and it smells so good in here and I really am disappointed about what I'm gonna have to do with this tree. I just love it. But it's either the trees or I'm gonna be risking my bees. So while I was standing in there, I could hear the hum of my bees up there buzzing around. So basically what happened, as I was saying earlier, is um. A neighbor, a friend of the neighbors is a beekeeper and he was over here visiting my neighbor and they drove by and they saw this thing flowering back here and he told me that they're toxic so you know not that I didn't believe them but I wanted to know for myself so I went in and googled it and sure enough California buckeye tree is very toxic to bees and my understanding is is that they take the pollen go back to the hive do what they do they feed it to the larva and it causes deformations in the bees. So I've chose, I've got to cut this down. I've got to cut it down and get rid of it. And unfortunately, I know that within three miles of my house, probably about a mile and a half away, there's probably about 25 or 30 of these trees on a hillside. And I just, you know, you can't control your bees, but you just do the best that you can. So I don't know if I'm gonna get this chopped down today. All I have at the moment is an electric chainsaw and it's supposed to rain here within the next hour. But the fact of the matter is, it's got to go to save the bees. So if you're in California and you're a California beekeeper and you have one of these trees or one of these trees near your property, just a heads up, California buckeye tree, highly toxic. All right, bees, stay away from my tree. All right, hey everybody. So despite the weather, we're gonna go for it. I want to get it done. I don't want my bees to be getting any more of that toxicity into their hive than necessary. So I got this for Christmas. It's my backup. My backup to my backup. It's a little corded electric Portland chainsaw from Harbor Freight. Hasn't, fa hasn't failed me yet. Not recommended for lumberjack use, FYI.
part's done, chopping all the branches off. Now, chopping up the branches, moving them off into a berm pile, and getting the rest of that tree out is going to be the tough part. So here on my homestead, we try to utilize everything. So I'm going to try to cut all the branches I can off that to use as kindling for next year's fires. Use all these logs for the fireplace next year. Maybe throw all these leaves in the mulch, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe not since it's toxic. Probably just put them in the burn pile. Not bad. A few minutes. Little Portland backup chainsaw. This is my backup to when I actually get a real gas chainsaw. All right, so here is the kindling or all the wood that I got from this side of the tree. Here's the pile of branches and flowers that I got. And I'm hoping you can see that the bees are still getting in here. Um, so I'm hoping that these flowers and stuff just die off real quick. So here is all the branches from the other side that I still got to break down. You may be wondering why I'm taking my time getting these little sticks. Well, first of all, it has to do with self-sufficiency and not buying anything or running out of wood. When you've got a few acres and you've got limited trees, you want to use all the wood that you can. Plus, we heat our house solely by a wood stove every year. So for all winter, it pretty much runs almost 24-7. And we go through quite a bit of wood. So we bought wood when we first moved in and with falling and dead trees and doing a little work for some other people, we've managed to keep enough wood here on the property to maintain ourselves. But it's important that we have enough wood in case anything ever happens that we can get through a couple winters. So that's why I do it. I hate doing it. It's a pain in the butt and it's tedious. But that's a pretty good little stack. Get a few fires going with that. All right, bees, you need to go back to your hive. It's getting late. Get out of here. They're feeding this stuff to your babies and causing issues. Take off. Skip. Man. Crazy bees. <laughs> 